Hi boys and girls, today we are going to be making a winter landscape on a small piece of paper. So you are going to follow along and we're gonna do this together. We need our messy mat. We need our paper going horizontal. We need a white crayon, a black crayon. Notice mine is very teeny tiny, it still works just fine. And then our cool color markers. So I have blue, green, and purple. Uh, so let me show you what we're going to do. Um, first off, we are going to, on the back of our paper, use our black crayon and write our name and then flip it over. Okay, on the front side of our paper, we are going to first make our foreground. We know that the foreground is in the front. So um, it doesn't have to look like the one that I just showed you. We just need a piece of land in the front. So I think I'm going to make mine coming this way and kind of hilly. Yours could go all the way across. It's up to you what you want your foreground to look like. Then we need a middle ground. So with our black crayon again, I'm gonna draw my middle ground. We want our middle ground to be up a little higher than my foreground. So my middle ground should not be down here. It should not be here. It needs to be up a little higher. So my middle ground I think I'll have coming this way. And I could take it all the way over or bring it down. It's up to you. So there's my middle ground. And now we need a background. So my background, again, I could make it go straight across, um, but it must be above my middle ground. I could have it coming down. I could have it coming down this way. It's completely up to you. I think I'm gonna go whoops, this way. And we wanna leave enough room because this is where we're going to be putting our sky in just a minute. So, so far we have our foreground, our middle ground and our background. Next, we're gonna make trees. Now your trees do not have to look like my trees. Um, I'm going to show you uh, on the board a few different ways to make trees. Okay, the first and easiest way to make trees, um, you can use any of the ones that are on the board, but I'm gonna show you the easiest one. Now we know that our trees in the foreground need to be bigger, medium, smallest. Okay, so my trees in the foreground, I'm gonna make nice big trees. I'm gonna make a straight line down, and uh, this is a vertical line, and horizontal lines going sideways. Really super simple. If you want your tree nice and wide, make it wider. Now you can go back and add more. Okay, there's an easy way. Um, your trees could be completely filled in. Pretty easy. We can have, um, let's see, another big pine tree up here in the front. Okay, there's an easy way to make a pine tree. I'm gonna head off to the middle. Now, if I'm choosing to make a tree that is not a pine tree, a regular tree, let's see here, I'm, I'm gonna make a, a medium-sized tree. I wanna think about my branches um, being a little bit smaller than what they would be on my bigger tree here. There's my medium tree. I think I need to make my foreground trees a little bit bigger. Here we go. Um, in the middle ground, how about I'll do, oh, one more. Notice I'm overlapping my sky back there. So middle ground tree, this is another kind of cute little pine tree. And if you want more branches, you can do more. So I think I'll come back with a few more. Okay, now my background, I want these trees to be the smallest. So I like these little pine trees. I'm gonna make teeny tiny little ones in the background. Okay, there's my, there's my pine trees, that's it. Next, we're going to, I'm gonna give you a few minutes to finish that. We're gonna use our white crayon next and we're gonna make snow. Now, white crayon on white paper does not show up very well. So I have a few ways to make snow. I'm just going to make little dots all over my paper. If you want to know how to see your dots and where you have put them, I don't know if you can see that or not, set your paper in your lap. Okay. And what's going to happen is the shadow from up here will uh, put, let's see if I can do it, see if you can see, I wonder if you can see my dots there. We make a shadow. If we put our paper in our lap under our desk, we can see our dots. And I'll show you that in class. What you may make as few or as many as you want. What this is called, whoa, I broke my crayon, called a wax resist. So a wax resist means I'm putting my crayon on now and later, when my paper gets wet, 
my crayon will um, still show up and I'll show you what I mean in a second. Next, we are going to be making wavy lines using purple and blue or just purple or just blue. It is your choice. You may use both or just one, but green is not in the sky. We're gonna save this for a minute. So in my sky, I'm going to make wavy lines. Your lines may be thick. Your lines may be thin. Uh, they can overlap. Okay, um, I'm just going to take my lids off and switch the colors here. Um, I can go anywhere I want up in my sky, but not down in my snow. So I'm just going to, oop, I got a loop in the sky. I can make as many or as few as I want. We're going to fill our sky with colors. Wide using the side of my marker or skinny using the tip of my marker. Wavy lines of some kind, loopy lines up in the sky. And you might be able to see my dot showing up a tiny little bit. Okay, next. If you have pine trees, you this is an option, you do not have to do this. You can use green and add a little bit of green into your pine trees. But because it is winter, would we have leaves on our regular trees? No, we wouldn't. So I'm just going to add a few little bits I don't, well, we'll try these and see what happens. Just a few little lines here on my pine tree. Now, when you're done, we're gonna take this out in the hallway and I'm gonna help you spray this with water. Um, some of the classes we've done this before, we're only spraying the sky, not our trees. Okay. So I will take the water on your messy mat. We're gonna bring our messy mat out into the hallway and we're going to spray our water and our color is going to run. I'm gonna hold this up and show you. Ooh, look at it going. That's our goal. Now notice my tree color up here is running a little bit. That's what we don't want. It's okay if it runs a little bit. Now we're gonna take this and set this on the drying rack. And from here on out, you can put the rest of your supplies away. We're gonna let this dry, and that's that. We made ourselves a winter landscape with a foreground, a middle ground, and a background. 